very bold. Yeah, they have no no fear. Kelly Bowen, owner of Roadrunner Fabrications, says he couldn't believe it. They're not worried about getting caught. They're not worried about running into somebody. Thieves robbed his welding shop just before Thanksgiving last year. In three hours, 31 minutes, Bowen says they cleaned him up, loading power drills, welders, and toolboxes into company trucks before taking off. We were literally out of business. They took everything. Last week, his security cameras caught another attempted burglary, this time an employee's truck at 8 o'clock in the morning on a work day. I don't know why anybody, other than the fact that they continually get away with it, I don't know why anybody would you know, think this is okay. So this is DynaPro, the auto shop that was targeted this week by some suspects. They broke in, stole some personal items. Now business owners in the area say that there's been an uptick in crime. Just last week, there were suspects breaking into stolen ATMs right here in this lot before sheriffs arrived. Security cameras show the truck ramming an Adams County cruiser before leaving the scene. I asked for numbers related to the string of crimes in the business district of East 64th Avenue to West 52nd Avenue from Pecos to York Street. Adams County Sheriff got back to me and says that they have had 65 reports of theft, 14 cases of break and entering, and 43 vehicles stolen since November. Shops like Roadrunner Fabrications have upgraded their security, but they're still waiting for difficult to replace equipment that was stolen. They need to get caught, they need to get face repercussions, because without consequences, why would they stop? And that is the big question, and Bowen says that he's out hundreds of thousands of dollars in missing equipment, and that's even with the insurance coverage. Now, Adams County Sheriff's Office does say that they do patrols of this area. They also have task force that are looking into these robberies, but it could take weeks, if not months, to track down these suspects. Yeah, it is such a mystery, John. You know, a lot of people commenting on the Adams County Sheriff's Office. And how are they um, staying on alert? So they do, as I mentioned, patrols of this industrial area, but oftentimes it's hard to catch these criminals in the act. As you saw there, I mean, it can happen in a matter of seconds, but they do say that if they do catch someone in the act, they oftentimes let them go. Like we saw this week at that high speed pursuit, they say it's too dangerous to go after them, but they also say that they oftentimes will find these criminals using some of this stolen equipment in other larger operations. So it's just a matter of time that they end up getting caught or if they don't get caught, they eventually will. Yeah, I hope they can track it all down. John, thank you.